Hello, and welcome to Casual Chef's Kitchen. I'm Chef Matthew. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare prime rib. The first thing you're going to need is a prime rib. This is approximately a six pound, what they call a two bone, there's two bones, prime rib. Got to have prime rib for, the, for this. Olive oil, any good olive oil of your choice. And some lots and lots of garlic. Kosher salt or any good flaky salt. Fresh ground black pepper, preferably a medium gr grind. Rosemary. Thyme. And flat leaf parsley. I use dried. If you don't want to use dried, um, you can use fresh. Just double the amount of, of dried. Double the amount of the dried herbs, the thyme and the rosemary with, with fresh, okay? You want to take out your prime rib from the refrigerator and no less than an hour and a half before you start roasting it. You know, two hours, an hour and a half to two hours is, is good because you want, you want it to come to room temperature so, so that, it, that it, it roasts evenly, okay? So this is my roast. And this is a, actually a, a good time to set your oven to 500 degrees while, so you can preheat, preheat, preheat to 500. This, this is the, the, the rib roast or the prime rib that I got from Twiddles. And here's the bones. As you can see the strings, I, I had Ron over at Twiddles. Um, um, and basically what he did, he cut off these bones and then he, he put them back on and then he tied them. Um, any good butcher will do this for you. Um, I, let, I, I let him do it uh, because it's, 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 it's easier on me. So with that beautiful, beautiful prime rib. And this is the fat cap. This is going to give you a lot of flavor as it melts when, when, you, when you roast your prime rib. Okay. So, here's my uh, marinade, my, my dressing, my, I'm not sure what you call it, but the, 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 the goop that you put on the prime rib. This is my goodies. Okay, so what we're going to do, this is why I have gloves on. And when you're preheating, so we're going to just slather this mixture all over the prime rib. On all sides. Just like so. So you want to put your, your prime rib in your roasting pan, bones down. You know, I have a, a rack in my, my roasting pan, which will help with the drippings. You know, so that way the, the ribs, you want the ribs on the bottom, the fat cap on the top. With, within the hour and a half to two hour roasting, it'll be ready to go in a 500 degree oven. Okay. While your prime rib is has been prepped 
and resting for an hour and a half to two hours, depending on size. The smaller size of prime rib, you want to do an hour and a half at least. And with the larger size, you want to do a minimum of two hours. Okay. While it's resting and coming to room temp, go ahead and preheat your oven to 500 degrees. And while you're pre presetting your oven, go ahead and lower your upper rack to the lower third. The reason why we do this, because it centralizes the prime rib roast in the center of your oven. So it gets even heat. So once your prime rib is in the oven, it will only be in that 500 degree oven for 30 minutes. And at that time, you can lower your oven temp to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, then with the calculations from your recipe, you, depending if you want rare, medium rare, or medium, will, will denote depending on the size and weight of your prime rib and the, 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 the internal temp of your prime rib, that will determine the length of time your prime rib will be in the oven. As an example, my prime rib is just under six pounds and I'm looking for a medium rare. So after the 30 minutes at 500 degrees, I will lower my oven to 325. Because I'm looking for medium rare, I'm just at six pounds, I'm gonna continue to roast my prime rib for an hour and a half. You, your time will vary depending on the, the weight and the internal temp. In other words, do you want rare, medium rare, or medium? Here we are after, for, for me, an hour and a half at 325 degrees. I just pulled my prim, prime rib out and I've got my digital thermometer and I'm going to through the into the thickest and what I'm looking for for my prime rib is 125 degrees And I'm very, very close. So what I'm gonna do is put this back in the oven. Well, I'm, what, just, just the, the movement of my thermometer, I'm, I'm about, two de, about two degrees off from, for my just, uh, just below uh, six pounds, at 325 degrees, I just went over uh, just at an hour and a half. I'm at 123, 20, excuse me, 123 degrees. I should be at 125. Now, now if I let this let this rest for 30 minutes, the the temperature will will actually rise with residual heat. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put this back in the oven for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. So stand by. Here we are. Back again. I, I put the prime rib in, in between 15 and 20 minutes. And so let's, let's check it. And we're good. We're at above prime rib. Uh, sorry, above medium rib. So, to, so we're going to do the next step, which is
here, here we see the prime rib encapsulated with in tin foil for the next 30 minutes or or so. So here we go. We have rested for 30 minutes with the prime rib. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and Cut the strings. And remove the bones, which I will use which the bones which I will use tomorrow to create a simple stock for a soup which is actually one of my wife's favorites a beef and barley soup so let's go back. Let's go back to to the prime rib. So here we got the prime rib, bones removed, and I'm going to So here we have an, a slightly pink end cap cut, which my wife Robin will love. And I will I will plate that. And I will next cut. Beautiful medium rare cut of this prime rib.